Hello everyone. Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education 6 class, Industrial Arts. In this video, we are going to talk about the module one, the importance and methods of enhancing, decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. This is based on the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials or USLEM. The expectations at the end of the module, you should be able to, one, explains the importance and methods of enhancing, decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. Two, demonstrates creativity and innovativeness in enhancing, decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. And three, appreciate the importance of enhancing, decorating finished products. Before we go on to the lesson proper, please take the pretest. Directions. Read each statement carefully. Write T if the statement is correct and F if the statement is wrong. Write your answer on the blank before each number. If your answer is false, underline the incorrect word. This time, TLE learners, I would like to... I would like you to please get your TLE 6 notebook and write your answers there. My dear learners, if you are not yet done with this slide, you may pause the video. After you answer this slide, you may continue. Let us proceed. Number one, bamboo, wood, and metal products can be enhanced and decorated to increase their marketability and saleability. Two. Filipinos are talented and skillful craftsmen. Three, many of the Philippine products are in demand both in the local and international markets because of their unique designs and quality craftsmanship. Four, San Pablo Laguna is known for its generations of skilled artisans and their wood carvings. Five, Plastic products are much eco-friendly than the other materials. Number six, etching is a method of transferring design on metal using a hardened steel tool called burin or graver. Seven, wood turning is a process of using the lath machine to make various forms in wood. Eight, industrial arts play an important role in our economy. Nine, finished products that are enhanced or decorated beautify the product itself. 10, enhanced and decorated finished products help maintain their durability to harsh elements. Are you done? Let us check your work. Here is the pretest key to correction. Number one, bamboo, wood, and metal products can be enhanced and decorated to increase their marketability and saleability. The answer is letter T, true. Two, Filipinos are talented and skillful craftsmen, true, letter T. Three, many of the Philippine products are in demand both in the local and international markets because of their unique designs and quality craftsmanship. T, true. Four, San Pablo Laguna is known for its generation of skilled artisans and their wood carvings. The answer is F. It is Paete Laguna. Five. Plastic products are much eco-friendly than other materials. Letter F. It's wood products. Seven. Etching is a method of tran transferring design on metal using a hardened steel tool called burin or graver. The answer is F. It's engraving. Number seven, wood turning is a process of using lath machine to make various forms in wood. The answer is letter T, true. 
8. Industrial arts play an important role in our economy. The answer is T, true. 9. Finished products that are enhanced or decorated beautify the product itself. The answer is letter T, true. And number 10. Enhanced and decorated finished products help maintain their durability to harsh elements. The answer is T, true. So let us have a review of your previous lesson by identifying the pictures below. Tell us the materials where the products shown in the picture are made of. Write your answer inside the box below. So can you name all of those? Please write your answers in your notebooks. Are you done, kids? If you're not yet done, you may pause this video. And once you are done, you may continue this video. So for those who are true, let us have the keto correction. Let us now check your work. The first picture is a chair and it is made of plastic. The second picture is a strainer. It is made of metal. The third picture is a table. It is made of wood. The fourth picture is a bottle and it is made of glass. The last picture is a furniture and the, the furniture is made of bamboo. What's your score? Comment down below. So let us have the lesson proper. So what are the importance of enhancing or decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products? First, finished products tend to be more saleable to customers when enhanced and decorated, which means mas mabenta yung finished product kapag napaganda ninyo. Two, Enhanced and decorated finished products help maintain their durability to harsh elements. Ibig sabihin nun, mas tumitibay yung finished products, yung enhanced and decorated products. And number three, finished products that are enhanced or decorated beautify the product itself. So kapag napinturahan nyo na, nalagyan nyo na ng finishing materials, mas gumaganda yung produktong ginawa ninyo. So what are the different methods of enhancing or decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products? We have here the wood turning. The wood turning is a process of using lath to make various forms and shapes on wood. As you can see it's in the picture, that is wood turning. The next one is, we have here, the inlaying. It combines several techniques that involve inserting decorative pieces into a base object to incorporate new designs on the original product. The next one, hand carving. It is considered a woodcraft in which a sharp object is used to create designs on the wood. Various textures and surfaces can be created using this technique. Tools such as chip carving knife, gogs, and chisels are used. So ito yung paglililok sa Tagalog kids. We also have here gilding. It is considered as a decorative technique which powder is applied on wood and other materials to give a thin coating of gold. Methods of this technique include gluing, chemical gilding, and electroplating. The next one is pyrography. It is considered an art using a fire or heat to decorate, to decorate wood or leather. So ito ginagamitan siya ng 
apoy. That is why it is called pyrography. We have staining. It is used to color wood to give an illu illusion of texture. This may come in two varieties. First, pigment-based stain will color large pores of the wood, while dye-based stain colors small pores of the wood. We also have here flocking. It is a technique lines of the interior of drawers and boxes with a soft, velvety finish. Next is painting. It is considered the simplest way of decorating wood since there is a variety of colors that you can choose from. One may also add a lacquer finish to make it shinier and glossy. So these are the metal craft enhancing techniques. We have the engraving. It is a method of transferring a design on metal using a hardened steel tool called borin or graver to cut into the metal, into the surface of the metal. So yung mga alahas na may, especially yung mga sing, -sing mga wedding rings, yan yung ginagawa, ine-engrave, yung mga pangalan doon sa likod ng sing, -sing. Etching is a process used to make designs or pictures on a metal plate by using acid that produces corrosive action. In modern manufacturing, strong chemicals are used on other types of material. The next one is metal painting. Adding metal enhancing media such as Metal paints, copic markers, and antiquing kits give color to the metal product. Metal paints may be applied using a brush or spray. Next is texturing and embossing. In, the, in this technique, you will need hammers, metal stamps, stencils, and other materials to create imprints on the metal. Though, there are new technologies used to emboss a metal with different textures. A hammer and nail can still be used to create your own design. Creativity and innovativeness in enhancing decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. Products made of bamboo, wood, and metal are much in demand both in the local and international market. With the involving needs of today's consumers, many entrepreneurs are continuously creating and innovating products to cater to the demands of the market. Let us now talk about the finishing materials. There are many ways or methods used on how to decorate finished products. Finishing materials are commonly used in decorating wood, bamboo, and metal products. Some are listed below. We have here the fillers. These are applied on wood to fill up cracks, holes, and grooves. There are two kinds of wood fillers. We also have here the paste filler. It comes from silex, raw linseed oil, and turpentine. It has colors such as natural, red, or golden oak. The next one is shellac. It's a resin secreted by the female lock bug on trees in the forests of India and Thailand. It comes from lock gum diluted in alcohol. Shellac is available in white or orange color. White paste fillers are used to fill in big cracks and grooves or wood. The next finishing material is stain. Stains, the common wood stains are used, use are oil stain, water stain, and spirit stain, which are named after the solvent use. Stains are solid in different colors and shades. The easiest to apply on wood is oil stain. The hardest one to apply is the spirit stain because it dries up easily.
The next one is paint, a finishing material most used on wood. Paint prevents moisture on the wood, which causes decay. Paint beautifies wooden objects and makes them easy to clean. We also have here the varnish. This is a transparent finishing material that comes from gum, linseed oil, and resin. It is hard and shiny when dry and gives sheen to the wooden project. Varnish is widely used in furniture and upholstery making. The next one is enamel. There are two kinds of enamel, the water-based and oil-based. There are also gloss and non-gloss. Gloss enamel gives sheen and has an attractive effect on wood. Non-gloss enamel does not give any sheen, but it beautifies wood. I think this is the last one, the lacquer. Lacquer paint is a paint that typically dries better on a hard and smooth surface. It is designed to be chip resistant, waterproof, and breathable. So for your activity, give the importance of enhancing decorating finished products. Write your answers on the graphic organizer. So again, please bring out your KLE6 notebook and write your answers there to give you a larger view of the graphic organizer. Here is the next slide. You just have to identify the importance of enhancing decorating finished products. So you may now start answering. Are you done, kids? For those who are not yet finished, please pause this video. And for those who are already done, let us now check your work. Here is the key to correction. So the importance of enhancing decorating finished product, we have here the first, the first one. So plastic products are much eco-friendly than other materials. And bamboo, wood, and metal products can be enhanced and decorated to increase their marketability and saleability. So finished products that are enhanced or decorated beautify the product itself. And the last one, enhanced and decorated finished products help maintain their durability to harsh elements. Those are the possible answers. So do not forget and always remember that finished products tend to be more saleable to customers when enhanced and decorated. And enhanced and decorated finished products help maintain their durability to harsh elements. And finished products that are enhanced or decorated beautify the product itself. So let us now proceed to check your understanding by answering the questions below. So direction, read each statement carefully and encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, filler that comes from silex, raw linseed oil, and turpentine. A, paint. B, paste filler. C, shellac. D, varnish. Please write your answers in your KLE6 notebook. Two, a kind of finishing material that is not waterproof. A, enamel. B, lacquer. C, paint. D, shellac. Three, a transparent finishing material that comes from gum, linseed oil, and resin. A, enamel, B, paint, C, stain, D, varnish. Four, a kind of stain that is easiest to apply on wood. A, fillers, B, oil stain, C, paint, 
the spirit stain. Five, it prevents moisture on wood that causes decay. A, fillers. B, paint. C, stain. D, varnish. Are you done? It's now time to check your work. So here is the key to correction. Number one, filler that comes from silex, raw linseed oil, and turpentine. The answer is letter B, paste filler. Two, a kind of finishing material that is not waterproof. The answer is letter D, shellac. Three, a transparent finishing material that comes from gum, linseed oil, and resin. The answer is D, varnish. Four, a kind of stain that is easiest to apply on wood. The answer is letter B, oil stain. And number five, it prevents moisture on wood that causes decay. The answer is pain. So what's your score? Comment down below. This time, I would like everyone to please take your post test. TLE 6 IA quiz number 1, actually that's quiz number 1, not 11, on the given link. So you may scan the QR code that you can see on your screen, or you may type in the link that is on your screen. And for those who are in my YouTube channel, you may also uh, click the link that is on the description. So should you have any questions or clarifications? please comment down below and I'll try to answer that. That's all for this video. I'll see you again in my next video. Goodbye and stay safe, everyone.